Good evening. A Seven News investigation can reveal allegations of widespread corruption by Gold Coast Police. It's claimed innocent people had their homes raided after police allegedly falsified details to obtain search warrants. Whistleblower detectives say evidence was made up to further the careers of senior officers. Michael Best has this exclusive report. Drugs and guns, the proceeds of a police raid on the Gold Coast. This one was lawful, but a Seven News investigation has uncovered allegations that hundreds of raids were based on dodgy or illegal search warrants, and senior officers knew and encouraged the practice. This detective, too afraid to be identified, made the claims. His face and voice are disguised. This is a major corruption scandal. He says search warrants have been falsified over the past five years. Specific evidence is needed for a justice of the peace to grant a warrant. Many occasions, um, in the Gold Coast CIB, that information is simply made up. The officer says police drove around car parks, picking random licence plate numbers to use on search warrant applications. Sometimes, he says, they just invented the evidence. How widespread is the practice? I would say it's prolific. This was done hundreds of times. It's unlawful and it's un unethical. But why would police bother, the detective says, to make themselves look better? It is done for the purpose of uh, arrest figures and obtaining search numbers of search warrants. He was even sent out to raid the home of an elderly couple. The people were lovelier people and they were just absolutely just traumatised by the cops coming in and raiding this place. They've never had any any association with drugs or, or unlawful activity. Formal complaints made to the Crime and Misconduct Commission claim junior uniformed officers were recruited to the Surface Paradise and Burley Heads criminal investigation branches to carry out the illegal or so-called specky warrants. But the detective says senior staff orchestrated the entire racket. Seven News knows who those senior officers are but hasn't named them for legal reasons. I was asked to take out a specky warrant. I ignored that, um, that request. Seven News has interviewed three other officers who have confirmed the systematic use of illegal warrants. All worked on the Gold Coast. One long-serving detective told us senior management organised raid days. He told Seven News, if you didn't have details for 25 warrants, then you had to make up addresses and grounds for warrants. It is a rat's nest. Really good police officers are being made to act illegally. Another former detective says officers were forced to use illegal warrants to achieve a quota. We would have raid days at least once a month. Everyone did it. Everyone knew it was wrong. Another senior detective told Seven News the Fitzgerald inquiry had made police aware of corruption issues. They all know these dodgy warrants are wrong, but don't think they will ever be caught. Gold Coast lawyer Glenn Milne has received a number of complaints from serving detectives. It's endemic. It's been going on for a long time and it's still going on now. All the police Seven News spoke to say senior management bullied and harassed officers who refused to take out illegal warrants, with a number of detectives leaving the region. There is a major cover-up. The CMC has told Seven News it referred the allegations to the Police Ethical Standards Command 18 months ago. They still haven't finished their investigation. But Commissioner Bob Atkinson refused to address the corruption allegations on camera today. Instead, the police service issued a statement. The service says it has been attempting for nearly a year to get specific information regarding wide-ranging but what it terms nebulous complaints made by a small group of officers. One of them, the service says, has been stood down while facing criminal charges. Police say they would welcome any further facts. But Seven News has seen the formal statement given to the CMC. It names specific police and makes specific allegations. Tomorrow night, allegations honest police were bullied out of the service for blowing the whistle. Michael Best, Seven News.